Hi guys, Gordon here from GCreate. And in this video, we want to show you how to upload and install the latest GMAX configuration files for Simplify 4.0. Now we recommend using Simplify and we update our configuration files often for it. And if you always want the latest ones, you can get them from our form uh, in the download section. Now, alternatively, every single GMAX printer ships with an SD card containing the slicing configuration files among other things. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that folder so you can see what it looks like. So every printer uh, with its SD card has these files in it. And if you go into slicing configuration files, we have Cura, Simplify 3D, and Slicer files. Under Simplify 3D, you should see a few uh, configuration files as well as uh, 3D models. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Simplify 3D. Once you have Simplify open, if it's the first time you've installed it, there might be a, a wizard that asks you to select a profile. You can um, either ignore that because you're going to be using these new files anyway, or um, you can create a profile if you'd like. Uh, alternatively, if you've used Simplify before and you're just updating to the newest config files, then you may see a different setting than what we have here. Now, if you want to erase your old configuration files to make sure you have just the new clean ones, you simply open Simplify, go to Edit Process Settings so you have a process going. Then you should see you have several different uh, profiles here. You can just go to Remove, select the ones you want to remove, hit OK, get out of your uh, process here, and make sure you delete the process as well. Now, if this is the only instance of Simplify you have open, that process and um, the profile should be gone. If you want to keep your old profiles, there's no problem with that as long as they don't have the same name as the ones we're uploading right now. Once you're done with that, you can now go to File, Import FFF Profile, and then go ahead and open up that folder from the SD card or wherever you unzip the files if you downloaded them from our form. Then you're going to go into Slicing Configuration Files, Simplify 3D, and then select the two FFF profiles. Now we have one for single and one for dual extruder setups. So you can in install both if you want or individually. Hit open and you should see that the import was successful and there's now two new profiles in your Simplify setup. Uh, you actually haven't selected them yet. So in order to actually use the profile, you need to create a new process and make sure in the dropdown you pick the correct profile. Now, additionally, aside from the profile, you can actually import a 3D model as the background of your Simplify setup. And we have GMAX models that you can use for this. So if you want to import the GMAX model, simply go to Tools, Options, Machine, and then under Printer Models, click Add. Now in that folder from before, under Slicing Config Files, Simplify 3D, you should have two 3D models, one for the non-XT and one for the XT+. Plus. Select the model that you want. You can change the color of it if you'd like and hit OK. Now you'll see you have a GMAX uh, as the background of your Simplify profile. This is very useful to kind of gauge the size of your print before you actually print it. Now if you want to save a lot of these settings, the best thing to do is just simply close Simplify and then reopen it. And that should be it. Now you have your latest Simplify profiles in Simplify 3D 4.0. Uh, I will briefly go over some of the changes and quick settings uh, so you can get a feel for what has changed. So if you create a new process, you'll see now under the single extruder, you have uh, auto configurations for material, print quality, and extruders. So if you have a J head setup, you can select single J head and that will set all the tabs to use the J head as opposed to the E3D. Uh, also the J head 1.0 nozzle and the single E3D. If you want to try different nozzle sizes and diameters, you can click add extruder here and make different sizes. So if you have a 0.8 nozzle, you can do that and then pick your nozzle diameter your extrusion width and set the uh, multiplier somewhere close to 1 and now you'll have an 8.8 mm uh, E3D hot end. But we're going to stick with a 0.5 mm E3D. So let's go ahead. Right now all the settings by default are for PLA, medium layer quality, and a single E3D. So if I pull in 
one of the gcreate files under STL files. You can now pull in different models to see their quality. So right off the bat, you can hit prepare to print. And with all the base settings now, you're going to get a great medium quality fast print. If you scrub through the layers, you can see the infill, the top and bottom layers, as well as the exterior perimeters. We hope that these changes make it very easy to get in and start using Simplify without having to change many settings. Uh, typically for Simplify, if you did want to improve quality, you can either go to thinner layers, which is a higher quality, and you'll see now that the layers tab under primary layer height, it changes as you change the print quality. We've also uh, tweaked a few other settings to match that change, such as uh, top solid layers, bottom solid layers, and in some cases, infill or temperature. Yeah, so now go ahead, pull in your favorite model, try it out with the default settings, and you should be good to go. Uh, one last note that I'd like to recommend if you use Simplify often and you change settings often, we highly recommend saving your factory file for every single print. Now what this does is not only save all the settings for Simplify, but it also saves the 3D model in a very compressed format. So if you go to save factory file as, and you can save your file anywhere. Now the next time you open this file, all your settings are retained, including your layer heights, your infill support, everything. So this is a very nice way to constantly save your files for reprinting in the future or to replicate the same settings for another print without having to constantly change different, uh, different settings within the program. Hopefully you found this helpful and you see how easy it is to pull in the Simplify FFF profiles. And if you ever want to get the latest updated ones, you could always go to our forum and download them. And as always, from everyone at GCreate, happy printing.